I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polar coordinates. In this particular video, we will understand how to convert Cartesian coordinates to polar and then plot them on polar grid. So we have four points to work with. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now the Cartesian coordinate given to us is a square root 3 1 right. So we can find the value of r as equal to a square plus b square square root which is 3 plus 1 square root and that is 2. As far as theta is concerned theta will be tan inverse of y over x which is 1 over square root of 3. Now you could actually use special triangles in these examples. So the special triangle which works for us is the one which has square root 3, 1 and 2 as the sides. So, so 1, 2 and square root 3. The angle here is 60 degrees, correct? So for 60 degrees we have tan of 1 over square root 3 over 1 but for 30 degrees we have 1 over square root 3. So what we get here as this is equal to 30 degrees, correct? So we get a polar coordinate equivalent to r value of 2 and the theta value of 30 degrees. Is that clear to you? Now here we have 30, 60, 90, right? So, so two, square, 2 and 30 degrees, 30 is this degree, so 1 and 2. So that becomes the point A for us. Is that clear to you? So that becomes the method of finding the point. Now you should have noticed here that this coordinate we are talking about was in quadrant 1, right? So in quadrant 1, uh, the values will be as such, right? Now let's look into quad B, right? So in this case, we are talking about point B, which is 1 minus 3. So we are looking into the quadrant, which is quadrant 4. So the angle will be negative. You understand? Theta value will be negative. Okay. So here again, let's find the value of R. As far as R is concerned, R is again equals to 1 plus 3 square root, which is equals to 2. However, theta is equals to tan inverse of minus square root 3 over 1. And that means theta is equal to minus of, now square root 3 is 60 degrees, correct? So theta is minus 60. And therefore, this point B can be written as 2 minus 60 degrees. Is that clear to you? So when I say 2 minus 60 degrees, so we have to go, that is 30 and this is 60 degrees. So this is the point which should be the point B for us. Is that clear to you? 2 minus 60. Perfect. Now let's look into the next coordinate point which happens to be in which quadrant? Now minus square root 3 and minus 1 means we are talking about quadrant 3. As far as tan is concerned, we normally get the values in these two coordinates. Here we have to make an adjustment, right? Remember that part. Okay. So, so what we get here is that the magnitude r again is uh, 3 square root 3 and 1. So we know r is equals to square root of 3 plus 1, which is again 2, right? However, theta is equal to tan inverse of both are negative, right? So basically, it is 1 over square root of 3. Now, 1 over square root of 3 will actually give you an angle here. But we are looking for an angle on the other side. So what we get here is this angle, which is theta is equal to 1 over square root 3 is 30 degrees. Now, since we are placed in quadrant 3, we'll write R as negative and we can write C as equals to negative 2, 30 degrees. You understand? So we could do this or we could add 180 degrees to 30 and keep 2 as positive, right? So, so we could also write this as 2 and 180 plus 30, which is 210, right? So or we could write this as 2 and adding 180 will give us 210 degrees. So both are correct answers, right? So let's see how to plot this value. So we'll do it on this graph. So 
if you go with minus 2 30 degrees that is 30 degrees but 2 has to point in the opposite direction right not here so it'll go minus 2 in this direction and that point here will be point c so this becomes minus 2 30 degrees right so c is minus 2 30 degrees on the other hand we could do an adjustment and that is to keep 2 as positive but the angle will now get added on by 210 right so so we what we do here is that because it is not in quadrant 1 right so it is in quadrant 2 so we go all the way from here to this side right and then reach this place for making angle of 210 and then take two units right so again we get the same point c which now is 2 and 210 degrees do you understand this point very critical to understand the last question take it as your test question right pause the video answer it now here as point d minus x value y value we are going into quadrant 4 now in quadrant 4 this is negative tan right so we'll get actually using calculator value in this quadrant we'll have to make an adjustment so a better way is to make a negative value of r as we did here right so we'll do that and then or some of you could add 180 degrees to get your answer so in this case the value of r is equal to square root of 2 plus 2 which is see square root of 2 is 2 and this is also square of square root 2 is 2 so we get square 2 plus 2 is 4 which is 2 however theta is equals to now in this case tan inverse of minus 1 now tan inverse of minus 1 is minus 45 degrees so minus 45 degrees we get however we are in this quadrant and therefore we can take this values r as negative 2 and minus 45 degrees we could do that so taking that as an example we will you stick to this now so what we do here is we go here 45 degrees right so that is uh, going here minus 45 degrees however it is minus 2 so we'll actually point not in this direction right so 45 sorry it'll be like here 45 degrees will be here right minus 45 degrees and then we'll point in the opposite direction right so the point will be here so that will be the point d for us do you understand how we get d so we will not point in the same direction but in the opposite direction to get our result so that is how we are going to plot the point d which is minus square root 2 square root 2 so i hope that makes sense right so you could either write negative uh, for the r value or you can make an adjustment here by adding 180 degrees that is to say you could also do this as 2 comma add 180 degrees to write this as 135 degrees is that okay so then also you get the same point in equivalent of quadrant 2 of rectangular system so i hope that makes sense so you have to take, take care of these things while working on conversion from cartesian system to the polar system right so i hope that makes sense feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great Thanks for your time and all the best.